Tesco delivery this morning, Tesco food delivery. Um, and I just thought I would do a quick haul because I haven't done one for a while. Um, and yeah, I thought I would just come on and show you what I've been getting this morning. So here goes. It's also quite good this time because with having the table back in here, I can now put everything on here instead of trying to squeeze it into the sorry onto the counter in the kitchen. So we'll start at the top here. Um, I'm trying some of these multigrain boulders for Freddy. Um, it's just something a little bit different for him because he didn't like the crunching of cornflakes that he wanted to try last week. We've got two milks. They are um, what size are those ones? They are four pinters. Um, and we will go through those as Freddy does love loads of milk. Two cartons of apple juice for Freddy because that's his main drink. I do mix it with water. He doesn't get it full strength, but don't tell Freddy because he doesn't do that. Some fresh OJ for everybody else. Um, I've got the Tesco Orange Zero, which is just the same as um, Fanta or your Tango. Um, and that's a zero calorie one. Going across here, I'll just continue with drinks. We've got Blue Spark, which is Tesco's version of um, Red Bull. Um, and Jason takes these down to work with him. I've got two of those, and they are the sugar-free ones. Just popped on the end there is the Plenty Kitchen Roll. It's my favourite one. It's the one I always use, and I do try and get it on offer. Um, loving, absolutely loving the wrapper on the Warburton spread. That is the white, thick, toasty loaf. Um, I use that for toasties, for sandwiches, what have you. And then just on the end there, I'll just grab them, turn them around so you can see. Warburton's Thin Protein Bagels. I discovered these when I was doing some vegan um, food for a couple of weeks there. Um, and they are absolutely lovely. Dead light. They're not as thick and heavy as a normal bagel. So I did actually continue getting those. I've also been stocking up on these babies. Um, these are just... <laughs> diarrhea relief which you're probably thinking oh my goodness me but with Christmas coming um, it's always best to have them in the house just in case because I'd rather have them than not have them and to end up with somebody feeling not too well um, you are restricted in some shops to two boxes so I just keep popping a couple in I did it last week and I've done it this week as well so I think four boxes should definitely be enough if not I think we've got a problem I just quickly popped another roll of tape into the basket as well, just before I did my checkout. Now, this one is super clear. Um, the other cellar tape that they do is like a yellowy shade, and I'm not sure if that would come up yellow on your presents, so I've always just went for that one, which is clear. I'm just going to swing over to this side now. We've got apple rice cakes for Freddy. Yes, another apple product. He does love apples, anything apple flavoured for Freddy. They're just a nice little snack. They make a change to crisps. And obviously they're a little bit healthier. Need it to top up on the tea bags. I generally stick the Tetley or PG tips and go with what's on offer. Um, I can't remember how much they were. Um, I'll put a little note in the comments because I can't remember. But they were on offer. Um, and I got a good price. And that is 240 bags. That will last us a while. The obligatory baked beans. I've always got to have baked beans in the cupboard. Because they go with just about everything. And they make a great snack. Beans on toast. Um, cooked ham, which is used for sandwiches, it's generally always on two for three pound. Um, so always just get a couple. Sometimes I pop one in the freezer because it does defrost quite quickly. You can get that out in the morning, it's defrosted by lunchtime if you need it. These fromage frays for Freddy, we tried these a while ago. They're less than a pound, I think they're about 80 pence. Um, we tried them and Freddie loves them so we've just continued to get them and I believe that they're one of the ranges that are currently exclusive to Tesco's um, or a brand that Tesco's do um, sort of put their name behind in a sense uh, but Freddie loves them so we've just kept getting them and um, we've got some mini party rings they're just little bags they're dead handy for me to stick in the um stick in Freddie's little bag in case we're out and about and he does need a little snack um just to keep them going the dead handy we've got peri peri chicken breast pieces uh two for five pound i've got four lots of those they're for daddy flamingo um yes he is coming home this weekend but when he goes back next week he will need his dinners again so he takes these and he'll have a packet of this with rice um and i always say to him do not get sick of having chicken but he loves chicken so he has this with uncle ben's rice um, for one of his meals um, and then I've got these ready meals here which seems quite extreme but if you don't know and um, when Jason's away he doesn't have um, 
good cooking facilities and stuff like that they've got a microwave and they don't have a lot of time um so it's just as easy we know they're not the healthiest of things you know we know that but it's just he's got to have something that he can quickly grab and get his uh, meals when he can with him working underground he's, he has to take his meals when he can and he needs something quick that's ready to go um and they don't always have the best cooking facilities down there you know as a minimum they've got a microwave so we'll get the microwave meals and they are on offer two for six pound um so i've stocked up to give him a little bit of a choice because i think he will only need um for, i think he normally takes four for a um a full week um because then he has something different for one of the days. I think like they go out for food or something. I'm not quite sure. But he normally takes four of them. Um, especially the days. And then I just pop a couple in the freezer. But at least if I get him six, he's got a choice. So we've got chicken gel frazzy with pilo rice. We've got smoky barbecue chicken with paprika potatoes. Which I think sounds amazing. A spicy beef chilli and rice. Jason really loves a spicy dinner. Um, chicken and chorizo pasta. It's a pepperoni pasta bake and a sweet barbecue pulled pork with cheesy mash. And I think that one's his favourite. So as I say, he's got six there. You can choose what he needs to take down for the last week before Christmas holidays. Um, I've just picked some of these um, steam bags, so the vegetables. They're just four bags and they take about three and a half minutes in the microwave. Um, and they're just dead handy. One pack can actually go between three of us. There's loads in the packs. Just popping over here now. Tesco Everyday Value Dishwasher Tablets. Shock horror. I've tried every brand under the sun. From your finish to your fairy to your normal Tesco branded to your Morrisons, everything in between. And do you know what, guys? They all seem to do the same job for us. They wash the dishes. So that's a winner for me. Nice and cheap. They're less than £2. And you know me. I will use an unbranded um, shop you know, product you know shop brand um as long as it does the job you know i'm not specific on brands um as long as it does the job i don't mind if it's the cheapest one three lots of bleach three for one pound 20 i believe it is and i will go through those this week i love me bleach some mccoy's crisps for jason for some snacks at work he also loves to take the pink lady apples so i've just got two packs of apples there he'll take one we'll keep one here got him a little treat as well some penguin biscuits um which the dead honey from because obviously you can just eat one of those on the go yes i know it's not the healthiest but jason needs quick burst energy at work and that will provide the ideal thing for him now i saw this range a little while ago in tesco's ms molly's and i never really did anything about it and i thought this week we're going to give it a go um, so I've picked up some Ms. Molly's, uh, sorry, it's Ms. Molly's Treat Store. So I've picked up some ginger nut biscuits to try. And I've also got some chewy caramel wafer biscuits as well. Um, Freddie does love um, gingerbread, um, gingerbread men and stuff. So I think you should like those. Um, and then these will be for Madeline because Freddie doesn't like chocolate. So there you go. Now, you're probably looking at that thinking, well... There's not really a lot of me. Obviously, if you take those meals out of it, because they're for Daddy Flamingo at work, you're probably thinking there's not really a lot there. But if you don't know already, what we've been doing over the past few weeks is trying to use stuff up in the freezer. So I'm just going to just show you just one last time. Just come down here and you can see what I've got here. Now, this is what I would call a top-up shop for us. So basically... Um, I'm trying to clear out as much as I can out of the freezer ready for next week because we'll be getting things in like the um, party selections, the Chinese selections, things like that ready for over Christmas um, because we love eating in this house. <laughs> I mean, I think that's probably what we most look forward to, the good food, the good drinks, the sweets, the chocolate and everything in between. Um, I think in our house, I think if we didn't buy each other any presents, we'd just be quite happy with the food you know i'm sure you guys comment down below what is your favorite favorite thing about christmas mine is family and food so come on guys you comment below and let me know and let us know what your favorite thing is about christmas is it the christmas dinner is it the chocolates is it the christmas pudding you might be a lover of sprouts so love the idea that you're going to get them on your christmas dinner let me know 
So what I'll be doing this week as obviously I've got my mixed veg, we've got some fruit. I did actually get some bits and pieces from Tesco's the other day, um, some blackberries and things like that. So again, I know I've only got one pack of apples for us, but I've got some things like I've got already got some bananas. There's one that's not attached. Um, so it, it was literally just a top-up shop. So in the freezer, I've got things like I've got some chicken, I've got sausages, I've got some fish. There's some salmon. Um, there's some veggie burgers. Um, I've got some soup that I made that I've just frozen. So we've got plenty of food to eat. So this is just sort of like extra bits and pieces just to fill up ready. Um. So for the week ahead and to make sure that my cupboards and the freezer is as empty as possible. I mean, I've already emptied one freezer here. Um, so I'll just show you in here now. Um, it needs a clean out because it hasn't been cleaned out for a while. But literally all it's got in it is some <coughs> Tesco finest goose fat roast potatoes. And then in the bottom, in this box here, is just some lemon. Okay, it's sliced up frozen lemon. And that's it and then it just needs a little clean out there's loads of crumbs and everything at the back i know i know <laughs> that's one of my jobs for next week is to get that freezer cleaned out now that it's empty i'm so proud of myself that i've managed to clear everything out um, and if i go into the other freezer um i'll just show you what's happening um this drawer is like basically bread there's bread and buns in there um, so I will just take out as and when. I've got a pack of these sandwich things, which you can actually just pop in the toaster just to soften up these, soften up dead quick. There's some buns. There's some, just a little bit of white bread. What I do sometimes is if the bread has been out a couple of days and I think it's going a little bit dry, I put it in the freezer and then you can just use it for the toast. Then here you've just got um, little bits of food and that. Um, there's some cheese, which are just, there's a tiny bit left in there. Um, which I just grated up because you can just use it straight, straight into dinners and things like that. Um, I've got some prawns there because I can do a nice prawn stir fry this week. Um, there's some peri peri chicken breast fillets which I got uh, reduced to 78 from 375 which I thought was quite good actually because sometimes you don't get much of a reduction. So I just put them straight in the freezer and I'll just defrost them. Um, there's some fish and some frozen berries and stuff under there. The top of here is pretty much empty. These are just ice packs that Jason takes down to work um, to keep all of his food. He uses one of those freezer bags, the big ones, puts these in, keeps the food nice. So they could potentially actually come out over Christmas um, to make space. And in here is a mixture of ice cubes and those frozen little squares which you can put in your drink and the door to water your drink down. Um, and then in the bottom one, we've got a few more bits and pieces. Got the veggie burgers. Um, that's some smoothie mix, which will probably go out because I don't think Madden's bothered about smoothies at this time of year. And um, what we've got? Oh, we've got some spicy Saint Nick sausages, which I'll probably use on Sunday. Chili and crushed red pepper. So um, I'm looking forward to having them. And then, oh, we've got some, pick these up the other week, some chocolate flavour coated profiteroles with hazelnuts. So... And there's a couple of other bits and pieces under there. I'm not bore you with everything. So, but yeah, you can see like there's, there's plenty in there. Like we're not going to starve this week, even with what we've got there. Then there's bits and pieces in the cupboard. So there we go. That's a Tesco food haul, which I'll say for a family of three and a half, because <laughs> obviously Jason's here for the weekend and then he's gone for the rest of the week. So I hope that's okay. Um, but like I say, comment down below with your favourite things about Christmas. That would be really nice to hear um, what your favourite things are. Family and food for me though, guys. Right, I'm going to get this all put away.